Well, here we go. This is the day Kings fans have been waiting for for almost two decades. Welcome to a special edition of ABC 10 News. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. Thanks for joining us. The playoff drought ends tonight, and we are live across the region with tip-off just about one hour away. We've got live team coverage. Our Devin Truby is with Kings fans in Roseville. Carly Gomez is at a watch party tonight in Sacramento, and ABC 10's Becca Habegger and Walt Gray are live outside Golden One Center with people who have come from across the globe for the big game tonight. First, we start inside with sports director Kevin John getting ready for the Kings Warriors matchup. Kevin, Golden One Center is expecting to break attendance records today. Absolutely, Laura, and attendance records may not be the only thing that gets broken here inside of Golden One Center. They will likely break the decibel level on how loud it will be in here. For those that know about the old Arco Arena days, you definitely know what I'm talking about. But you talked about those fans, Laura. All 18,000 plus fans in attendance will receive this shirt right here. It says, fill the roar 2023 playoffs. Obviously something the city has not seen or felt in 17 years at 16 seasons. Now right behind me, you will see the Golden State Warriors warming up there, getting in some practice about an hour out. You're looking at Stephen Curry right there, who of course is the reigning NBA MV Finals MVP. And of course the one person the Kings will definitely try to stop. Now get this, despite the fact that the Kings are the third seed and the Warriors are the sixth seed, the Warriors are actually favored in the series, but get this, in tonight's game, the Kings are favored by one point, that according to Caesar Sportsbook. Now, of course, the main thing the Kings will be trying to stop is the three-headed monster of Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Jordan Poole, but we all know the Kings are no slouch either. Now keep in mind, Sacramento has won 48 games this season, and of course, they clinched the division title for the first time in 20 years. Now coming into this game, they have a lot of confidence going against the defending champion Warriors. We actually had a chance to catch up with a couple of players yesterday, and according to Malik Monk, if you think they're about to just lay down and let the Warriors run them over, oh, you got another thing coming for you. Take a listen. Hit somebody in the mouth, um, that's about it. We got to hit first. Um, that's, that's been our main goal all year, um, is to hit somebody first. Um, and when we did that, we won the game. So if we do that, we'll be all right. I'm playing for the Sacramento Kings. Um, you know, I think you definitely play for this fan base because, you know, it's, it's much bigger than any of us. Um, the years of history here, um, what it means to this city, um, to everyone here to be a part of this. So I think it's um, you know, just really important for us to just continue trying to make them proud. Well, of course, they definitely want to win this for the fans. And I can tell you right now, here inside of Golden One Center, an hour away from game one, it is electric. Now, get this. Both the Kings and the Warriors are the top two scoring teams in the league throughout the regular season. So expect some offensive fireworks here on the court. And as a matter of fact, we just got finished speaking to Mike Brown in his press conference. He says that he plans for the Kings to be running and gunning and playing a high-paced, high-octane offense tonight. So it will definitely be a lot of fun. Coming up later in the show, I'll have a more inclusive recap of what we got from the press conference. But in the meantime, woo, brace for a very loud atmosphere in here. Yeah, full steam ahead. Kings fans hoping the underdogs really pull through tonight. Kevin, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.